Sorry for the wait, Mr. Keller. Fine. Whatever. I just want to get it finished with. Of course. Resuming interview at 4.08. How about you tell me again what you did that day? You mean before? Yes. Well, I did what I always do. I... Can you hear that? Sorry. It sounds like some kind of tune. You know when you hear part of a tune, you keep trying to work out what it is. I can't hear anything, Mr. Keller. Please, continue. Well, I left the house around 8.30. I got the number 1A into town and I went to work. How was everything at work? Same as it always is. I sit at a desk for eight hours a day typing figures into a spreadsheet. There's not much to go wrong. PC Greenwood said you left early that day. That's right, I didn't feel... There it is again. You didn't feel what? There's someone whistling. I can hear them. No one's whistling, Mr. Keller. Please, sit down. When I got home, the door was open. Mark was always forgetting to lock it properly, but he'd never left it open before. Maybe he was out the back or in the street or something. You expected him to be home. What? Your housemate Mark, he had a job, but you expected him to be home. I fucking live with him, of course I knew he'd be home. Calm down, Mr. Keller. It was Shelley's birthday. She came over the night before. They were going to spend the whole day. They weren't going to leave the house. And how would you describe your relationship with Shelley Keating? We got on okay. I thought Mark could do better. That didn't matter. That's what they did. What did they do? Mr. Keller, I understand this might be difficult for you, but you need to tell me what they did. Will you tell them to shut the fuck up next door? I can't hear myself think! There is no sound coming from next door, Mr. Keller. What did they do? What did Mark and Shelley do to you? He used to whistle. All the time he was whistling. Like I'd be watching TV and he'd just start whistling. So one day I said, Mark, that really pisses me off. And he started doing it even more then. And always, when I was talking to Shelley, He'd come stand behind me and start whistling some stupid TV theme. Shelley thought it was funny. She didn't realise what she was doing to me. Shut up. Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! He's doing it even now. I fucking killed him and he still won't stop. Sit down, Max. When I got home, all I could hear was whistling. He knew it bothered me, made me angry in front of him. He didn't see there was anything wrong with that. I made him see. I made them both see. You killed both of them? Can you make them stop whistling now, please? 